said T H X. She didn't text me back. Don't and I didn't text you back. I did text no, you. you didn't. It's very difficult for Carol to take criticism. At 7 o'clock, you said, congratulations. I responded immediately. I said, thanks. I'm dying. You always defend the person sitting next to you. You don't say your own thing. You just <sighs> chime into what the no, other person is saying. I say my saying. own thing. I'm ride or die, honey, and you know that. Well, that's, it's, it's sad. It's really sad. We All the envelopes have been packed. And it's like everyone asks to come, but Carol hasn't really expressed any interest in it, yeah. so she's not into it. Yeah. We don't have that much in common. Carol doesn't have kids, and she doesn't have a career. I asked Adam to be part of this whole journey as a photographer. He said, what's the comp? We went back and said, there is no comp. And he said, well, then I can't. And it just rubbed me the wrong way. No, that's it horrifying. Me. You never told me you called Adam and asked him to go to Houston. I that's didn't how... call him. You never told me you emailed I Adam. I never emailed Adam. Then what did you do? Come Smoke on. signals? Yeah. What is it? OK. <laughs> You know who That's parses funny. people's words out and tries to trip them up? Liars. I texted you, I miss you, you're being, I feel like you're being cold, and I sent a picture of us, you go, wow, that's a lot. I said, this is too big of a conversation for text messaging, and she did not stop texting. You seem like you're more into yourself and your hair and your style and your fashion and Tinsley and, an and selfies and you weren't like that before. Selfies? selfies. Yes. You're saying I'm that I'm selfish and self-interested. Listen, I just it just got to a 10 and it didn't need to. And okay, let's bring it down to a 7. I want it to be a 0. I don't want it to be anything. You know what I would love for you? One that's in the red scarf. Yeah. yeah. Super sexy. Okay. This is an amazing way to try to really, like, to pursue someone. You have some balls. know the reason that it comes from home. Right. He had like a three hour dinner. He's running game. He's Tom 2.0, no disrespect. Listen, if you want to date him, I don't I care. Do I went I on one day. I don't him. want to date him. That's oh, what I, I think, think he him. didn't I... want to date you either. You just have a sort of smugness of like you won some prize. It's Excuse me, but it's sort of a consolation prize. Where the hell is this coming from? I did nothing that would elicit such venom. We're in a really bad dynamic where everything I say sets you off, everything you say sets me off, and it's, and we're both like this. I've never had this, is why I'm thinking, yeah, it's like losing a family member. I've never experienced this. I have nothing else to give. I'm emotionally bereft, and I think most relationships shouldn't require this much work. You yeah. definitely took a left turn, you and I. I have no doubt we're gonna find our sweet spot again. Oh. Mm. oh. Well, that was a nice way that you ended the season, but you didn't find your sweet spot mm. since then. Yet. It seems like it's gotten worse. Mm -hmm. But I think the number one question that people wonder when they watch the show is, what happened? Were you seeing Nothing. each other less when the no, season that, had yes. started? We didn't see each other that much over the summer, but that could happen. Well, for most of the summer I spent in Los Angeles. Cassandra, a friend of mine's husband died. Right, your friend who was grieving. And, and you were there most of that summer. Most of the summer. And it was so a you hard came time. back and the show started filming. And I came filming. back and we saw each other. We had lunch. We were texting. We were totally in it felt communication. Normal. I did think there was like a little shift, but it's happened in many friendships where just something happens and then it goes away or, you know, everything isn't going to be perfect. No relationship is perfect. So right. I think that we were a little bit on different pages. Like I could feel it during the summer because the summer before, I think we had spent a lot of time together. And this one, we didn't because of both of our parts. Right. And you knew I was a training for the marathon. I ran a half marathon. Yes. But we were seeing each other. Well, I called you to take you out for your birthday. We went to, to Montauk and you didn't, you made me drop you off and pick you up. You didn't even like invite me. Like I, I had to wait for you to come outside. And I thought that was sort of different. Like I would have thought you'd be like, I don't know. You just made me pick I, you Cassandra up and drop you off. Cassandra didn't really want to see people. So I didn't want to introduce new people in her life. She's still grieving. But you grieving. did it in LA also. You had a, group, a bunch of group things with your friends and girlfriends and, and no, you I didn't, didn't include me. You did. I so was we're all going Cassandra. out to dinner at Medea with a bunch of people. I didn't even think to include you. Cassandra and her friend and I were going out I'm to dinner. I'm just saying, you there didn't was include no, me, and that is how I felt. She I felt maybe, slighted. Maybe she felt I slighted. felt left out. But I also saw you a bunch of times. Actually, I was trying to figure out a long weekend for us to go to the Golden, Golden Door. Door. I asked some friends if they could borrow private planes for your Puerto Rico mission. And I was like, I'm going to help you. I'm so proud of you. And I have tons of text messages to show you. I and I won't bore. I won't. I would I won't, love to see those. Well, I mean, I can go that. through them if you. Please don't. <laughs> well, okay. And then September rolled around. That's when we had that conversation that you recounted to Dorinda. I was stunned. I kept saying, I don't understand what you're saying. And I think 
as a friend, because a lot of people say things to me about you, and they're not, not necessarily nice. And I always, what I say is, well, I don't know. Maybe she was having a bad day that day. I love her. She's a great girl. And when you were recounting and the vice story, versa, by the way. okay, when you were recounting the story about Adam, I mean, I remember saying to you, you know what? When people say nasty things about Adam to you, don't pile on. Just shut that down. I thought you were broken up with him, and then once okay. I realized that whether broken up or not, you were still kind of having coffee or any, I, I retreated immediately. I, you know I, what it seems like? It seems like you kept having these, these conversations, a lot of miscommunication, and you kept kind of wanting it to be back to normal I and you could never get I wanted it to be back to well, normal I, think back I don't think that, Bethany wanted it ever to be back to normal you were ready for it's it to be over no, I, I came to you and said let's talk let's talk you were dismissive condescending you, you didn't, didn't want to talk and then when we finally kind of did have this good talk after the holidays and we and we I thought you we sat had to talk and, and you we had, and then out. you right after and the then interview right said at, I don't have high hopes about our makeup but that's what you said no 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 it wasn't I said I was proceeding with caution she knows it affected our friendship, and I think she was genuinely upset about that. I always walk away feeling, okay, let's start over. And then there's something else that's said. I'm eager to just move on and, and remember that, you know, we're, we're friends. First of all, you were saying I texted you in this way, which was another lie. No, it wasn't a lie. You oh, said I sent you 50 goes. texts. I sent you one text oh, with oh eight sentences no, long saying, oh I love God. you, I care, oh but you God. said, oh wow, geez, oh that's God. a lie. Oh, my God. Bethany, I said, please don't talk to the other women about me. You said something to what Ramona. You said, it became a thing in the show. I that's said, exactly Carol what I said. Carol said, and you texted me and said, don't talk about me on camera to the no. other women. No. Well, that I do have. No. I no. do have. I wrote, the, I wrote them during lunch because here it is. Because now I'm not going to do this anymore with you no, pretending I'm not you have the truth. Okay, okay? we're so texting. Hold on. You're, okay, 